In this video, I'm going to answer the question, do the t-test and ANOVA really assume homogeneity of variance? Now, homogeneity of variance uh, is frequently stated as a, an assumption associated with the t-test and ANOVA. And homogeneity of variance uh, means that the variances associated with each group are equal to each other. And that's within sampling fluctuations. You wouldn't expect them to be exactly the same numerically. So we use tests like Levine's F-test, or very quite rarely the F-max test, which is an old test, to test the hypothesis that variances are equal. And when you violate that assumption uh, with the Levine's test, if it's statistically significant, then you have a heterogeneity in variances. Now, many people uh, state, or you can read in, in books and, and papers, that the t-test and ANOVA are robust to violations of the assumption of homogeneity. And robust means, uh, typically, the alpha level, which we typically specify at 0 0.05, is not deviating from that by more than plus 0 0.01 or negative. 0 0.01. So as long as alpha is really staying between 0 0.04 to 0 0.06, we would state that a particular statistic is robust. Now it's true that uh, t-test and ANOVA are robust to violations of the homogeneity of variance assumption, but there are actually quite uh, obvious limits to that. Um, but the limits uh, are are quite substantial, and in this in this presentation, I'm going to point out what those limitations are, particularly in the context of unequal sample sizes, which really complicates things. So Ramsey uh, did a Monte Carlo simulation of sorts to examine the question and evaluated the robustness of the t-test, didn't look at ANOVA, but looked at the t-test under a variety of homogeneity and variance conditions. And he, his lowest level, at least that was reported, was a difference of 3.33 times between the smallest variance and the largest variance. And he went all the way up to infinity, and he was able to do that through, uh, based on an inf infinite series solution published in 1938. So he looked at sample sizes equal to 3 to 30. So not very big sample sizes, uh, quite small. The robustness tends to increase with sample size, so we're particularly interested in the smaller sample sizes. And here's a, a graph, very informative graph, that Ramsey reported in the paper. And let me explain the key results from this. On the, on the right side of the, of the graph on the x-axis here, we have the alpha level. And we're trying to keep things at 0 0.05. Uh, ideally, but we're willing to accept up to 0 0.06. It's robust. It's something's considered robust up to 0 0.06. And if your sample size is equal to 15, it looks like it doesn't matter how bad the variability is in the variances, uh, you keep it at 0 0.06. So that's one take-home message from this particular chart. If each group has a sample size of 15 or greater, and these are equal sample sizes, by the way, then you shouldn't have to worry about any level of heterogeneity in the variances. Now, another key finding here is the lowest level of variability between the largest and smallest, so 3.33 times larger from the biggest to the smallest, uh, it doesn't matter how small a sample size you have, you, you keep your alpha level less than 0 0.06. So I'm going to make recommendations at the end of this paper after I review another two studies. This is the take that's a key message from this uh, report here. And so one question I have will, in this case here, is well, what if the sample sizes are unequal? Uh, and that happens quite often in practice. So Havlicek and Peterson addressed this question. Uh, using a slightly different technique than Ramsey. Uh, and what they did is they conducted a simulation on the difference between two group means in this case. I have an ANOVA study coming up next. Uh, they varied the level of heterogeneity of variance, uh, and they varied the difference in sample sizes as well. And they also varied levels of skew. Uh, so they also deviated the distributions from normality. And the key thing to look at here is these are the results associated uh, uh, associated with the simulation with normal distributions. And they 
the, the main results are in this column here for 0.05 level on the right side. We want 